Welcome back to the second episode. In this episode, we're gonna be setting up our character movement. So we can just start by creating new folder, call it inputs. And here we're gonna create first three input for our video game, which are gonna be called. So you just right click input and select input action. We will call it IA, EA look. And then we will duplicate it and call it EA move and make sure it's set up as a axis to D so axis to D and the other one axis to D and now we're gonna create a third input and call it IA jump make sure the jump is set to the bull and when we create this, we can go to the input and create input mapping context and call it IMC inputs or character. We can open it and here first we can select jump and just we will put it to spacebar. So you click this and you then you can select any key you like. Then we will add another mapping, call it IA look and select mouse xy to the axis and that's gonna be good and now we will create the third mapping and gonna be IMO and first we're gonna W then we're gonna select uh, WASD S D so the W is gonna be, we will, oh, sorry, not triggers, not triggers. We're gonna add the modifiers. So type in swizzle input axis values. And that's it for the W. Then for the A, we need to add the negate. Negate. And for, for the A, we will, uh, for the S, we're gonna add the uh, modifiers and we're gonna add swizzle input. But we're gonna also add another modifier, negate, because we want to walk backwards with our S. And for the D, we can leave it as, as it is. And that's gonna work perfectly. So now we will go to our character that we made. And I want to simply go to the components and add sp spring arm and make sure it's not child of the mesh and uh, under the spring arm I will add simple camera which is going to be our play camera I will call it like this and we can select spring arm and target arm length can be zero and you can just position it as you like here. I'm just gonna do it like this. Because uh, we can put it like this because our character doesn't have model. Maybe in the future we add it, but if we if we add the model, I will update this as well. But for now it's, it's fine. It's not gonna collide with anything since there is no model. And uh, we're gonna go to the HP character self and make sure we and tick use controller rotation job and also here we're gonna control mm, is it here make sure this is uh, ticked and make sure this is not ticked so that should be fine so now, once we are done with that, we can go ahead and head over to the event graph. And uh, here, make sure you uh, choose your level. So we start in the main menu, as we put it in our project settings, if you remember correctly. Here we can see we start in our main menu, but make sure you select map 1. Because I saw it doesn't work for me so, uh, if I don't select it, so select map 1. As here we have our gameplay player controller and here we can just cast to HP gameplay player controller. This is our gameplay player controller 
which is gonna only have effect on the map one and not in the main menu since we don't want to move in main menu so from from the object i will uh, get controller and as hp gameplay player controller i'm gonna pull enhanced input local player subsystem it should be looking like this and i'm gonna pull is valid make sure you tick the question mark one and connect it there and from is valid actually from here we want to add mapping context add mapping context should be looking like this and select is valid and double click and make it tidier and here we want to select our IMC character and this should be looking good that's, that's perfect compile and save and now we can go ahead and start coding our movement so I'm gonna start with IA jump so on triggered we want to jump and on completed we want to stop jumping just quick reminder that I opened my Patreon so I can keep providing these tutorials for free. Uh, link will be in the description and everyone who donate will be greatly appreciated and also credited at the end of the every video. So now once we have a jump we can uh, select it, press C and comment it jump. And let's just keep whole code clean. Uh, my goal in this tutorial is to make it as clean as possible and as readable as possible. So let's start with uh, our looking. So we are gonna type IA look. Make sure you select this one. And on triggered, we want to add controller Joe input. And we want to uh, add our controller controller pitch input so this is gonna be our mouse looking around and this action value we're actually gonna split to struct pin and if you remember we what we did there is we inside of our inputs we have set it as axis 2d if we didn't do it we wouldn't have this uh, result so x going into joe and uh, y going into pitch and this would work perfectly uh, we can call it this uh, look moment and this is gonna be fine so I could uh, actually when I was starting this series I was thinking if we should do it with um, old version uh, by going uh, into the inputs here and adding axis and action mappings but I choose to do it this way because it's uh, supported way and um, it's just more modern way of doing things so if we already have it why wouldn't we use it so now we're gonna sorry we're gonna create IA move also make sure to select first one and from triggered I'm gonna add movement input and between I'm gonna get control rotation And also I'm gonna get right vector and I will split those two into struct pin like this and connect uh, roll and job and leave pitch not connected and this is gonna be our world direction sorry and from here the scale value is gonna go here split struct pin also this is what we did uh, axis 2d in the IA move as well just like the IA look so x this is gonna be our x value and I'm gonna make it a little bit cleaner like that and now we can go ahead and create add movement input again and here we're gonna also get control rotation and also forward vector so here we're just 
giving uh, directions to our character where should he go and here we're gonna just select the Z like this and it's gonna be our world direction and this scale value is gonna be our Y and we can pull it like this to make it a little bit cleaner and we can call this character movement We can call this actually mouse movement. And as a movement, I always put it in the color. We can put it as a green and then drag it like this. And now you can put this one in the green as well. And this one as well. You can put whatever color you want, but I like to I like to have fun with colors. So this should be working perfectly right now. Yes, as you can see, we can move, but the problem is that our mouse is inverted, so we're going to go ahead and fix that. Just go into the IMC character, and here, just uh, create modifier in the EA look, that's going to be negate, and tick everything off except Y, and if we press save and go play, we're gonna have normal mouse and we can play around. So we made our character move. That's exactly what we wanted for the first episode. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And in the next episode, I'm gonna check it right now. What did I plan to do in the next episode? So in the next episode, we're gonna be doing uh, main menu. I actually wanted to do it in the this episode, but I choose not to. So, uh, I wanted to get character movement uh, of my chest first, because that's only part that I find really boring for me, because I like to play with mechanics. So, uh, main menu is going to be next episode, flashlight is going to be fourth episode, and interaction system at fifth, and so on. So, Make sure uh, you check out the other videos, as I'm gonna be creating a full game and I will have a lot of uh, videos in this series, as this is my favorite genre. So, uh, I'm gonna try to get a third part of a video today, but I cannot promise, but tomorrow is gonna be 100%. So, thank you all for watching and see you in the next episode.